Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. As always, please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like and subscribe if you like the content. I think uh, I thought we'd do some more kind of cool stuff today. Uh, just uh, add add a couple of cool things. Just fix the small problems that we, we still have uh, in the UI and stuff. But I just want to show you some changes I made before we get going. So... Uh, the text for the EXP bar in the player GUI wasn't really working fine. Uh, that's because uh, this variable here was about, uh, I think it was 180 or something. And this here was something different as well. Uh, but this, these are the values I'm using. So just go ahead, 200, 115, and you should be good. Just check out all these values. Maybe this as well here. I, I'm not sure if I changed this, but yeah, you can check this out. And... That's that for player GUI. Then one thing I did was I went in here and I added a rectangle shape called button background. All right, just a simple rectangle shape. And then I initialized it here in in a GUI. Uh, it should be button button background. All right here. Okay. So this is the the text you want to copy, all right? Just make sure it's exactly like this, width divided by 5 and then VM height and then you want to set the position at P2PX 11.5% and 0.F and then the color whatever the hell color you want you don't have to do this it's just a little extra touch I did and it, it kind of looks alright uh, and then you want to render that button background just before you render the buttons because it's, it's a little background for the buttons that, uh, that I thought was kind of cool actually it helps pop out the button see it's, it's this black bar here so you know kind of looks all right change the color of the background as well and that looks fine and our game you can see the exp bar looks a little better now so there you go now one thing i want to add is a kind of a gameplay thing which brings life to the to the game basically and what that's going to be is the camera follows the player but it's also gonna be affected by the mouse a little bit so it's going to be a little more lively and to do that, it's not that hard. Actually, all you have to do is go into your game state and go to the function which updates the view. Very simple. And in here, we're going to make some changes. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop these down like this. Okay. And we're going to floor everything. So the whole thing is going to be floored. And we're going to add to it. Now, you want to add like this. Okay. And then you want to... Just make a little empty parentheses here. Now we're going to add using the mouse position of the window. So we're not going to use the world mouse position because remember this, if you're working on any other project where you are controlling the view with the mouse position of the world, you're going to have a problem because if your mouse position world moves this way, all right, and then your, your uh, camera centers there, but your mouse is still kind of down, so it's going to keep kind of moving downwards all the time. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess things up. So that could happen. Just warning you. So mouse position window is a little better. I'm just going to go ahead and do a plus and then static. Or within this whole thing, I'm just going to static cast float. Okay. I'm just going to copy this because we're going to use it twice. And within the float, I'm going to say this mouse position window dot X. All right, I'm going to copy this as well. Uh, mouse position window dot Y. Okay, so once you have that, it's going to add the mouse position to the current position. And you might see it might seem all right, but the problem is when your mouse is positioned at the center of the screen, it's not zero zero. It's at you know half the width and the height and that makes it so the camera is kind of dislodged it's not really centered uh, so it's kind of weird so what you need to do is you need to actually remove half of the width and height of the of the current resolution and then that shit will work for you um, but to do that you're gonna have to do a negative value static cast float another one of these so it's kind of a very long 
calculation here. It's kind of annoying, but uh, it's it's worth it in the end. So once you do that, then you want to do this state data uh, gf wait what is it gfx settings resolution and then dot width divided by two. Okay. Once you divide that by two, you static cast it to float. Okay. And you should be good to go pretty much. I'm just going to copy the whole thing with including the negative thing here. Just copy that. Just put it right. Whoops. Right after this. Uh, and instead of width, we're just going to say height. Okay. And probably try to run this. Probably going to crash because sometimes these unsigned values kind of mess with uh, with everything. But it seems to be working. And the camera still follows the player. But it's affected by the mouse. See? And it kind of it feels too much since the slightest movement is kind of messing everything up. So to counter that, what we're going to do is we're going to go right after here. Right after we static cast it, we're going to divide it by 5.f, all right? So just go ahead and divide it by 5.f, all right? Just like that. And once that's done, go ahead, run it. And you'll see that everything is a, a little... I thought it would be... Wait, hold up. Did I divide the right thing? Um, let's see, what is this? Where is this? This is what I want to divide. Oh, it's outside. All right, so one more. Just gonna control X that, paste that right outside. Hopefully this should work because you want to add it to the whole thing, all of that divided by five. That's why we had those parentheses. Now it's a lot smoother. It's a little, it's a little less jittery. You can use whatever constant you want there. I use five because it feels, it feels all right. So remember, you're gonna be clicking on stuff, mining things, chopping down wood. Uh, you're going to be whatever, you know, picking flowers, whatever you want. And this kind of, I don't know, it kind of livens up the game when, when you move the mouse like this. Um, so that's cool. That's good. All beautiful and nice. Now, most of our stuff is working for us, depending on um, what resolution we have. But one problem we'll have is if we if we look at this, we might not be able to fix it in this video, but we might be able to start is if we go into our settings and we kind of go down to any other thing, this thing doesn't change. That's one problem. And we start a new game. You'll see it's zoomed in. Stuff is kind of zoomed in, right? And the window is smaller, but the game hasn't shrunk. And that's a problem when you're lowering your resolution because, I mean, the view... If we look at the game state, how the view is defined, its size is the same size as the resolution. All right, but if we if we set that to a constant value, the inner resolution. All right, that's going to keep the size. If I just show you this, 920.f, 1920, and then 1080, like that, and I run this. It's still going to work because our resolution is the same as our internal resolution. See, it's still the same. But if I go ahead in settings and I set this to a lower resolution, back, new game, you'll see it's shrunk. See, it's totally shrunk. Because now we have an internal resolution that is always the same as, um, what do you call it? Well, it's always the same, basically. Now, this is a widescreen. It was, now it will work, but it's smaller. See, it's shrunk. So that's kind of what we want. We want it to have this internal resolution. Um, yeah, and that will that will change the view size, basically. That, then we don't have to use percentage values to define how large our characters and everything are, because then the view will kind of always be the same size. It's just that it will be stretched and and, uh, and shortened down. So that's kind of what we want to do. But there you go, guys and girls. The way we're going to do that, we'll see in the next video. Probably do that. Then we'll start working with some kind of inventory. Make some inventory stuff going. Because uh, that's really important. Make an item class. Drop some items. 
pick up items and then probably want to start with gathering and stuff gathering materials I, I, I like mining and stuff like that so i'm a huge world of warcraft mining fan so it's probably what i'm gonna do first um and then yeah you know tools and stuff like that but where you want to fix it is probably in state if we're going to state we're probably going to add a resolution where do we have graphics no graphics settings right um i thought this had graphic settings okay uh where is that graphic settings right here so here we're probably gonna add an internal resolution here and that will also depend on yeah whatever we have in our file but there you go guys boom all good hope you learned something thank you for sticking with me thanks for watching um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.